So as promised, this here is a look at our underwater fish attractant light. So this here produces a green LED light underwater and it attracts small microbes or micro like organisms, microbes, and that brings in minnows and uh, like shad and then consequently the bigger fish come to feed. So this is a proven concept, it does work. and. I'm going to show you how we made this here. I'll give you a little bit of a breakdown. We have our battery box, and the battery box just has an SAE connector. SAE connector is just a two pin connector. So, right there is one piece, right here is the other piece. And then we put the SAE connector on this extension cord that we cut. The extension cord did have these ends on it. We just cut those ends, and inside there were. You can kind of see right there, there was a white and a black cable inside. We just spliced that in, and then we ended up running it through a cable gland. This cable gland requires a three quarter inch hole drilled into our two inch PVC pipe cap. And on the back side of this cap is the nut for the cable gland. And then we also put marine goop over the area around that nut that's in the inside of this cap. And that's to provide extra watertight seal. We then have a two inch PVC uh, piece of pipe that's just about that long and it's holding these two pieces together. And then inside of this fitting that you see right here is a reducer to a three quarter inch and it fit inside here and so we ended up putting that in here so that our three quarter inch PVC pipe that you see in here free floats inside the polycarbonate tube and that's all this is is this is a polycarbonate tube that's the clear pipe and then inside is this three quarter inch PVC that you see here and then we simply drill the hole right there to pass our wires through and when I mean wires I'm saying the wires that came out of this so this goes all the way in here and it comes out that little hole has two wires and then those two wires connect into the LED and these LEDs have a sticky backing on them so they just were wrapped around this PVC pipe here and what I did do is I did super glue each end of the LEDs so that they couldn't unravel in case the backing became loose. On this end we have that same fitting and then what you can't see is in between here and here there is a two inch PVC pipe that's holding this piece and this piece together and then inside this white PVC fitting is another three quarter inch reducer uh, pipe and that's what's holding the PVC pipe once again in the center of the polycarbonate tube. So without further ado let's just test out the light and see what it looks like. So I flip the switch on and there you have it. It glows. These are the 550 LEDs. So they are quite bright. There are LEDs that are a little bit brighter, but these are the best in my opinion for the money and for the amount of light that you get out of them. So that's why I chose these ones. So I can turn it on and off with my battery pack. And the nice thing is I can't screw up connecting these and accidentally connect them backwards because the SAE connector is kind of foolproof so that is another nice aspect so look forward to trying this once the weather warms up and I should have more videos on it uh, at a later date here and time to test our 
fishing light and see if it's up to the challenge of Mufasa. That's the name of my fish, by the way, in case you didn't notice. So I'll put it in our fish tank here. As you can see, it does float. So we'll push it under the water. Produces a pretty cool light. I think it's going to work well. He agrees. <laughs> 